Come on, everyone. Go and feed some sheep. Lucy Cullerton is one of Australia's most collectible artists. She escaped the city and her paintings are steeped in rural life. Especially with the virus right now, a lot of people are busy making art and it's, it's a good time to do it. Her local gallery in Bega is the only way she can access art nearby, but its capacity is limited. Bega Valley Regional Gallery is 30 years old and while we make her look pretty slick, um, she's getting a little bit tired. So our plan was to redevelop the gallery to basically double the floor space. The gallery was a textbook contender for a $47 million regional cultural fund, but missed out. I was dumbfounded because we're an isolated community. We've just had the te most terrible summer with the fires. The ABC has discovered through freedom of information laws that Bigger Art Gallery was in fact ranked number one above more than 100 other applicants in a recent arts funding round. The heavily censored documents reveal how experts ranked the projects from the most to the least worthy. Bega Art Gallery topped the list, but was ignored by the government. But on page 12 of the expert picks was an $8 million project listed for the Bega electorate, rated lowly at number 72. That bonanza, the largest grant awarded, went to Batemans Bay. Eight months before the funding round opened, Bega MP Andrew Constance and the Premier had announced funding for a new pool and theatre complex. It's not just a pool, of course it's an aquatic centre with five water bodies and then of course it's attached to the new performing arts uh, centre. I cannot understand how you can make an announcement when there's not even a grant application in there. No, there is nothing wrong with what's happened here. Governments get to make the decision, not bureaucracies. Well my name is John Barillaro, call me Pork Barillaro and uh, I have no apology. <laughs> and it seems little sympathy for those who missed out. Michaela Boland, ABC News.